Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In this lesson we will be learning various personal pronouns in the nominative case. Lektion 11 Personalpronomen in Nominativ Before we begin with the list of the pronouns, we have to understand what is a pronoun. Was sind Pronomen? In a sentence, the pronouns replace the nouns. To avoid the repetition of a noun, a pronoun is used. The nouns in German are gender-specific and should be replaced by the appropriate pronoun. There are a few things we need to know before we start doing the pronouns. There are three cases you need to consider when you are using personal pronouns. When you are talking about yourself, you are the first person. That means when I am talking about myself, I am the first person. While talking to someone, that someone becomes the second person. And while talking to someone about someone else, that person is the third person. For each of these three persons, there can be a singular form and a plural form of the pronoun. Now let's start with the personal pronouns of the first person. As mentioned, there is a singular and a plural form. Ich is singular and wir is plural. Now let's use these in a sentence. Ich wohne in New York. Wir wohnen in New York. Let's see another example. Try to concentrate on the usage of the pronouns ich and wir. Ich heiße Maria. Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich habe ein Kind. Wir wohnen in Berlin. Hope you were able to follow this small text. I would recommend to pause the video here and read it once again yourself. Let's move to the personal pronouns in the second person. The situation with the second person you are talking to can either be informal or formal. Let's deal with the pronouns in the informal situation first. Once again, we have here a singular and a plural form. If you are talking to a single person, you use Du and if you're talking to more than one person, you would use ihr. Now let's see an example for each. Max, wo wohnst du? Don't forget, this is an informal situation. Hence, you would address the person with the first name. And while talking to more than one person, Julia und Peter, wo wohnt ihr? Let's come to personal pronouns for second person in a formal situation. Here again we have a singular and a plural. If you're talking to a single person, you would use sie. And if you're talking to more than one person, then also you would use sie. This is very easy to remember as both the singular and the plural forms are sie. Now let's see an example for each. Herr Müller, wo wohnen Sie? And while talking to more than one person, I would say, Herr und Frau Müller, wo wohnen Sie? Please remember that the Z here is always written with a capital S, irrespective of the fact whether it's in the middle of a sentence or in the beginning of a sentence. 
Let's move to the personal pronouns for the third person. The third person you're talking about can also be in singular or in plural. The pronouns in the third person are also gender specific. If you're talking about masculine in third person, you would use er. For feminine, you would use z. And for neutral, you would use s. And if you're talking about more than one person, you would use z. Now let's see how to use these pronouns. Das ist Michael. Michael wohnt in London. We have learned that pronouns are used to avoid the repetition of the nouns. Hence, you would say here, er wohnt in London. Let's do another example. Das ist Michaela. Michaela wohnt in Paris. And with the pronoun, the sentence would be Sie wohnt in Paris. Moving on to the next one. Das ist mein Buch. Das Buch ist alt. Using the pronoun here, you would say, es ist alt. Let's see the plural form now. Das sind Petra und Jürgen. Petra und Jürgen wohnen in Hamburg. Replacing Petra and Jürgen with the pronoun, you would say, Sie wohnen in Hamburg. Great! These were the personal pronouns in nominative. Now let's summarize. The personal pronouns either are in first person or second person or the third person. They can be either singular or plural. For the first person, the singular pronoun is ich whereas the plural pronoun is wir. The second person can either be informal or formal. In the informal situation, we use for singular du and for plural ihr. In the formal situation, the pronoun used for both singular and plural is sie. The pronoun for third person masculine in singular is er, in feminine is Z and in neutral is S. For plural, you just use Z. Wonderful! Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Danke! Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.